Customizing giftables is one of my favorite things and the combination of vinyl and my scan and cut makes it possible. Hello friends, Mayflom here and today we're going to be customizing a cookie jar for dog treats. And this is a gift I want to give to a friend getting a new dog. And I'm going to start by drawing the word cookies. Now you could use a built-in font. You could use the type converter app on the computer and make a custom file. You could scan in a font. Me, I am just writing it out. And what you see me doing here is I drew it out in pen first and you can see my E is closed. There's no gap. I find that writing it in thin pen first, then drawing very intentionally where my lines are and how thick they're going to be works incredibly well. On the Scan and Cut DX, any of the models, they'll all work the same for this part. I'm going to be scanning in my word cookies and creating a cut file to cut out of vinyl. We're going to want to cut the inside as well as the outside and I'm going to pull the arrows in so that when I cut this, or when I, excuse me, when I open this, it's just going to be the word cookies. It's not going to be a full 12 inch screen. This also makes it easier if there's little gaps or um, little spots that kind of pick up. It makes it easier because it just removes them out of that area. So you don't have to worry about that. Now what I'm doing right here is called smoothing. Sometimes this works really well. And sometimes when you go to smooth, like I'm seeing right here, it smoothed out the inside of my S. So I'm putting it back to low. We're not gonna have smoothing. This is really great when you have a straight line that you've drawn or a hand-drawn line, and it picks up on every little scribble or every little shuffle of the pen, every little uh, wave. So smoothing can help smooth that out. In this case, well, two things. Number one, turns out it was pretty darn smooth, not needed. and Number two, trying to smooth it wasn't really going to work. All right, so I have saved this to the machine. It is that easy to create your own cut file. Then all you have to do is, you guessed it, open the cut file just like you would any other, only this one was handmade. Now what I am doing is selecting all of the cuts, so inside the O's, the outside, everything, and unifying by pushing that, that button at the bottom left. Unifying is going to let me resize this and move this as one instead of as the separate little cuts that make up this one word. And I am sizing this down because I know I need it under four inches. I know that four inches is too big. I need it under four inches for my container that I am creating here. And now what I'm going to do is use the grid. Okay, I know that six inches is the absolute top to bottom, so about five inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to select some designs. And there's a lot of designs built into any scan and cut. I'm just kind of showing you a couple here because, oh my goodness, do we have options. So many great options to be had in here. I am going to go in and pick the paw, since this is for dog treats. And I'm going to size it down. I do want it considerably smaller than it was set up. And I am also going to select, you see the one where it's all together? That puts it all the pieces together. Otherwise, you're only bringing in one piece at a time. And in the case of the paw, I definitely want all the pieces together. They don't overlap. There's not, it's not a layered pattern. And then I'm going to go in the edit screen here so I don't have to go back to select pattern and I'm going to make a bunch more. Okay, so I'm gonna make, what, 15, 16? There we go. Now we have a whole bunch more. Now for this next part, you're just going to move different, your designs around and then repeat with additional designs that you want to create. It is really super easy to create a design here in the Scan and Cut with not much time and no need for a computer or other technology. It all can get done right here on the screen. What you see me doing now is I've got some stars and I'm going to edit this particular star. So I brought them in very small. I'm gonna make a couple of them a little bigger and then make multiple of the bigger size. Now what I am doing at the top, all along the top, I am designing something that I will put in one color 
straight onto my cookie jar. The two bottom areas are going to be two different colors and those we will put in after and as we go. Now I am playing with, you just saw me rotating, so we can rotate designs. We can do all kinds of fancy editing if we want to make this easy so that when we print this out, after we cut this, and I've scanned in my vinyl so you can see that it all fits within the pieces of vinyl that I've cut and placed on my mat, but I wanna make this as easy as possible to apply. So to make applications easier, that is why I am doing this the way that I am doing this. Now, once we get everybody and we're happy, we're going to turn on, make sure the half cut is turned on so the vinyl cuts, not the backing material, and let the scan and cut do its work. Then, here comes the fun part, we are going to remove all of the excess vinyl, otherwise known as weeding. And I have my tool in here because it really does help to make sure all the little pieces, nobody's sticking to the sticker sheet, to the sticker vinyl, everything's coming off onto the backing sheet, everything's going smoothly. It really does help me along, especially when we have so many tiny little pieces in here. Next up, you guessed it, we're ready to finish up this project. So I am using transfer material to ma transfer all of that vinyl all at once, all together. That's why I spent time designing at the top. We're going to transfer it all at once, onto our cookie jar. And actually what I'm going to do here is take the jar, take the lid off, and then I'm actually going to place it. I'm using my mat there and the grids and everything, and I'm going to place this where I would like it and then flip it over and firmly press the vinyl onto our cookie container. Now this one being a little bit squared, it's actually easier to apply because we have nice flat surfaces and then just rounded corners. And I'm starting in the middle. I always start in the middle on things like this. I just find that it works out really well. And then going all the way around, and as you can see, the transfer material will remove. And if you have any spots that need a little extra help, give it a little extra press. And your vinyl stays on there. It's so easy and it is so much fun. And yes, this transfer material we can reuse. This is a product that Brother sells that you can purchase separately from the Scan and Cut, and it's great stuff because you can reuse it. I am coming in now with a small piece of transfer material, and you guessed it, I am going to be transferring the other colors. So we did a, kind of an aqua color and a silver color, and I'm going to be transferring those on where I've got gaps, where I think I wish I had a little something extra, a little something more. That is where we're going to go ahead and move these guys, put these guys on in. And you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. You could add additional colors. I will remind you, of course, you do want to be safe. So remember, you don't want anything touching your vinyl or stickers or that kind of thing. It's on the outside and the inside is food safe and cleaned, etc., etc. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It's been great sharing this idea with you. I hope you have a wonderful day and be sure to subscribe for more videos.